Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. That one's right there. Or in this case, graffiti with graffiti in downtown Portland. Well, I wouldn't really call it tagging buildings, <laughs> but we are cleaning them up. Usually we have the property owner knows that we're doing it. We're putting some there, something up there that you know sparks a little bit of conversation. And they're not just a conversation starter. The stenciled designs. We have the PDX Rose, two Sasquatches holding a salmon. Are proving to be an effective tactic to ward off vandals. Well, you know, I've been in business here in Portland about nine years now, nine, 10 years, and really like murals in town, right? If you put a mural up, they have a little bit of a code of ethic that you want, they won't hurt the mural, they don't tag the mural. Paul Watts is the owner and operator of Graffiti Removal Services. Over the past couple of years, he says he's personally seen it get worse. A lot of the plywood in the buildings that are boarded up, you know, they, they kind of invite graffiti a little bit, especially the plywood. So we're going around, we're painting the plywood a couple different colors, uh, painting over the graffiti, and then adding uh, kind of a, a holiday touch to it with a couple stencils that we've made up to kind of hopefully detract the graffiti a little bit. Watt's team, contracted by the city, responds to cleanup calls, focusing here, downtown, as well as the central east side. We're now expanding it all over. So every neighborhood, every business association, everywhere in the city will see us out there eventually. The crew and I kind of uh, dubbed it the uh, Rose City Rebound Plan. And the Rose City Rebound Plan has a proactive component. So I have people out there walking the city daily, going out there, finding the graffiti, reporting it back to us, and then we go out and remove it and clean it before anybody calls. Clean up with a special city-sanctioned touch. We're part of getting the city back. We're proud of the city. We want to make sure it's vibrant, it's alive. We're going to keep on it. You know, we're going to keep going with it as long as the city, you know, is backing us, which they have, you know, tremendously, and they keep coming up with new ideas and new plans. Um, we're going to keep doing it. Now, although there's been a high volume of calls, if you do see graffiti, you can easily report it online on the city of Portland's website. After submitting that complaint, workers will determine if the graffiti tag is within their scope of work to remove. We'll have an application or a link to the application, I should say, on KGW.com. Christelle?